Well, second morning of our hunt. We had rain all night. We've been driving around. We can't get too many spots, but we've probably glassed, I don't know, probably 12 bucks this morning. A um, lot of big bucks, a lot of huge frames, but a lot of them are missing forks, and they're just not what we're looking for. But we just found the buck. Uh, one of our target bucks for sure. This buck is definitely 200 inches. I'm going to, he's got to be a couple miles away here. I'm going to see how close I can zoom in on him, but we're going to get up top here and make a plan and try to put a stock on him, but uh, see Daddy. what happens. Yep. Are you in trouble with me? Why? We're going. Let's film this. Let's film this buck. Hold on. Let's see how. Okay. Shh, try. Oh my God, this thing's got to zoom. They're, they're already bedded down. Really? Yeah. So do you want to shoot up?
the big guy. Monster buck came close, but I think that when I watched it go and bed in a coop, it's back far in the hayfield. It's probably four or five hundred yards from the hayfield, but they they love feeding in a second cut alfalfa. So we're gonna set up in the corner and we're gonna hope that they come into the field and, and uh, give us a shot at the prime bark here. So let's get over there and go set up. Ready, bud? Yep. This afternoon it's coming. It's coming right for us. Whew. Here we go again. Where's Mikey, the they're even coming right towards us. I know, I know. I know.
necessarily. Yeah, they're gone, dude. I made that decision real easy. Just kept pursuing him, had a second shot. I missed that one too, it was a rush shot at 175 with the muzzle loader. but the third time when I caught up to him again, it made that one count. So, but he disappeared over the hill, went down into a pool, I watched him bed down and it got dark. So, he's down here, we're gonna sneak up to him and uh, if we have to put another one in to him, we're gonna, but otherwise we're gonna go up to him. My boss is the biggest buck in my life today, never forget. So, let's go see what he looks like. Yeah, he's right there. They're all coming off of there. There he is. He's a monstrosity. Hey, I know they eat him. Are you recording? Yeah, I am. I can't swear. I hate coyotes. I hate coyotes. Told you. Look at the size of his ears, though. I know. Holy smoke. Wow. Yesterday is a day I'll never forget. I took the biggest buck of my life. 
We've hunted down here for years, me and dad and the family. We've taken a few 200 inch deer and lots of bucks, seen a lot of bucks in the past. And, and it was finally my turn to get a big one. And a day, like I said, a day I'll never forget. He gave me three opportunities within an hour. The first time me and dad chased him out of a coulee, 150 yards wide open. I missed him with the muzzle loader. He went down to the next coulee. I, I chased him out again, 175 yard, kind of a rush shot. Missed him again, just went over the hill. I come up on him in another coulee at 20 yards and he came out and I made that one count. He was about 50 yards away, I double lunged him. I didn't know how good the shot was so I had to leave him. It got dark on me. I had to t run the risk of uh, coyotes and sure enough they got at him a bit but you know it's a chance you have to take. If I would have scared him up and with the rain last night we would have never got him so a day I'll never forget. My best buck. I even got the landowner here, Morley. He's coming out to recover this one because over the years, all the bucks we've taken, he's this is the first one he's been part of, so pretty cool. He's gonna have to shoot more coyotes so this doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they're wolves, they're cougars. Whatever there is out here, predators. Man, what an awesome buck. Look at that. Awesome.